Rakoma MT1501 behind me. Last time I embroidered this hat, I had a little issues with registration. I'm gonna show you guys a tip that's gonna help you guys out no matter what you're on. In this case, the MT1501. It's a lot of little small industry tricks that people don't tell us and people like to blame on the technology when it's not the technology's fault. You guys saw that I embroidered it perfectly on a, a flat, right? On a flat uh, surface, on a flat piece of material. And then when I came to, went to do it on a hat, it lost registration a little bit around right here. This is the hat from before. But since then I learned a trick and I'm gonna share that trick with you guys. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Hey, 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 uh, productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. I know a lot of you guys remember that hat that I did in a previous video. Well, I learned a trick, and I think it's very, very important that I teach you guys this trick that might be having problems with hats bouncing and stuff like that. It's very, very pertinent, very important that I show this to you guys. As you guys can see, I'm on my MC1501 Rakoma embroidery machine, and I'm embroidering that same hat over again. And it's been coming out flawless um, since, since I learned this trick. And I really need to tell you guys this trick uh, and show you guys. So basically, the only thing you have to do is prior to hooping your hat, the only thing you got is real simple. Only thing you gotta do prior to hooping your hat is to run some water, like literally, put some water in your hands and dampen the whole top of the hat. You guys might not be able to see it. Matter of fact, you can see it. You see right here, the whole top of this hat is damp. And when you dampen the hat, it reduces the bounce and that will enable you to keep a lot of your registration, right? So, and also it makes the, the hat softer so that the thread can pass through easier. It's just overall a really, a really good technique to use, especially when you have a hat with a lot of bounce. As you guys can see, it's still bouncing a little bit, but it's not bouncing anywhere as near as it was before. Let me turn my light, adjust my light a little bit so you guys can see that. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. So I'm gonna let this thing embroider some more and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it came out this one wasn't bad it's just not as good as this you know what I mean? yeah that technique works all the time for hats like i said that has a lot of bounce to it um it might be the way the hats were built but like that's the only thing you have to do like i said dampen the hat dampen the hat don't drench it don't soak it like comment subscribe but just dampen it you know it'll dry up but you guys can see the watermark right here dampen the hat and it will reduce the bounce it won't get rid of the bounce altogether because it's still bouncing a little bit you can still hear it but it will reduce the bounce significantly to the point where the machine can still keep the registration so it makes the material softer so that it's not see that it's not damp versus damp see how soft that is now when this dries it's going to be like that but it's not see that makes a difference guys that makes a difference you can even hear it all right versus you can't hear this one because it's still damp all right so that's the difference that's the difference um let me know give me a thumbs up in the description down below if you guys um, appreciate that tip, nice and quiet because it's still damp, bouncy, all right? You guys know awblanks.com with the booty shorts um, that I have. So I'm trying to sell the rest of them out. We've been having some crazy blowout sales. If you use code ADUBB, I think that's the code. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen for you guys to use if you guys want. Um, I think it's seven, we're up to 75% off now. Don't quote me on that. Might be 50, might be 75%, but you guys can go check out AW Blanks and use the code at the, at the bottom of the screen right now um, to get some of these booty shorts. But I've been embroidering on these. Dominica logo, 
I digitized using Chroma Lux digitizing software. And as you guys can see, um, I've been embroidering on the shorts. Design comes out looking amazing. And I have to tell you guys, I've been using the Mighty Hoops. Uh, this right here that I've been using is a, what is this, a 5x5 five five inch Mighty Hoop or 4x4? Four four? I forget what it is, but um, I'll, I'll leave my Recoma link down below if you guys want to inquire about some Mighty Hoops. It's already down there. But um, use my Recoma link, by the way, if you want to uh, get your Recoma embroidery machine, right? It's because I'm a Recoma affiliate. Helps me out a lot. Helps the channel out a lot. Keeps me going, making videos like this. But uh, yeah, I use Recoma, I use Recoma Chroma Lux to digitize this specific Dominica design and I've been stitching them out on the booty shorts. We're, I don't want to call them booty shorts. Let's call them, let's call them short shorts, on the short shorts and um, getting ready to ship them off in a barrel to Dominica, the nature isle of the Caribbean to get sold. So that's just one idea that you guys can do with your garments right you only need like one market and one group of people to sell it to and you're cooking on gas pretty much when, when, when you get the stuff rolling guys so just something to think about you know what i mean giving you ideas you know i like to throw ideas out out at you guys so uh yeah that's what i've been doing with them the designs are coming out looking real good every single time and oh yeah the mighty hoops the mighty hoops when I bought my, when I first bought my Recoma, and people talked about the Mighty Hoops, Mighty Hoops makes everything so easy. Mighty Hoops, Mighty Hoops, Mighty Hoops. I thought it was BS because I um, thought that hey, I could use the regular hoop just fine. And I watched them do the regular hoop. I'm like, I'm just gonna use the regular hoops because these Mighty Hoops are expensive, right? But let me tell you guys, when you start doing things, projects, back to back, it's so much easier to hoop. It's so much easier, it's so much more efficient, it's so, so much faster to hoop. But the thing is, it's like you can't just buy one Mighty Hoop, especially if you're doing multiple items. The minimum I would recommend that you buy is two of each. Let me tell you why. So say for example, you have an order, you have a large order. You have a large order of items and you have a single head like me. You're gonna embroider one item and while you're embroidering that one item you're hooping up the second item that's exactly like it so you can embroider that item so that's the reason why you want two mighty hoops so if you get a four by four i mean if you get a five by five whatever, whatever size this is 4.2 i don't know, forget but um if you get one of those you might as well buy two because you want to you want one to be embroidering while the other one is ready to just go up on the machine for efficiency all right so it's almost like you gotta buy two so like regardless of one being expensive your price just doubled. look yo embroidery is embroidery is expensive especially when you have a commercial machine you when you're dealing with a commercial machine it's expensive especially if you want to be efficient if you want to be fast um and efficiency time is money man time is money so you got to be efficient so i got two of these uh hoops right here for efficiency and I got a 10 by 10 hoop and I'm going to get another 10 by 10 hoop once again for efficiency because that's what I need. And right now I can see already that the registration is looking a lot better than before. It's still bouncing a little bit because the cap has been embroidered a little bit and it's starting to dry a little, a little but overall a lot better than the first time guys. A lot better the first time you got to admit right. So that's a trick. That's a trick. If your hat is bouncing, if you're getting a lot of bounce, put some water on it. Make it damp. That'll kind of like flatten, flatten it out just a little bit. You know you got a good embroider when the back of your hat looks this good. This thing looks good. Look at that. Look at that. That thing looks good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Stop playing. I think from now moving forward, the videos are gonna change slightly, guys, because I wanna um I wanna focus a little bit more on my e-store. 
So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. I want to focus a little bit more on my e-store and start putting up more stuff that you can you guys can purchase um more stuff that i i don't see on the market that that i would want to see you know what i mean so that you guys can have the option to uh patronize if you choose to you know i want to take my hand in designing and put out my stuff more and that's what i haven't been doing because i've been busy showing you guys the different types of equipment and different and all that other stuff and i you know and having just having fun making the videos and working the technology and now that i know how to use a lot of the technology hell man it's time for me to start making some more money you know and i've been making good money with these machines but it's time for me to start making some real real bank um by creating stuff original stuff that i really like that i think you guys would like so let me know how y'all think what y'all think about that in the comments down below all right so guys, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you're in the market to purchase a commercial embroidery machine, just do it. You won't be disappointed if you take the time and learn your machine. If you're not willing to take the time and learn your machine, I would highly suggest that you don't get any machine because you're going to have problems. People DM me on Instagram. People message me here about every single machine. Silhouette Cameos, Brothers, SE600, P800, SE1900, um, sublimation machines, every machine. If you're not willing to learn it, you're going to have issues. Um, this is no different, okay? So um, the machine is a great unit, still using it. And like I said, I'm going to start concentrating more on putting stuff in my e-store for you guys and um, building up my portfolio on my e-store with merchandise. So um hope that's okay with you guys so thank you so much for watching don't forget follow me on instagram instagram adub productions and i'll see you guys on the next video man peace turn up that crank it up while listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best baby